Hey folks, kind of a gray day today. There's uh, rain in the area. And um, I'm heading out to look for some bowls. Yep. Going to a local park that used to be by my house. Um, I used to uh, remove bowls for them all the time. And I'm um, going to go check it out. I haven't been there in a while. We'll see what happens. Half of it has really high grass, and the other half was cut probably a few days ago. So hopefully I can spot some movement or something. I really do not have any great expectations for today, finding a mole actually moving. Uh, so I'm just going to walk around and check it out. Um, man, the grass here is so high. It's so high. I can feel mole tunnels with my feet, but I can't see them. And I was already at this uh, area about 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. I gave up on it. And then I walked back, and um, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to be really, really quiet. Look for the freshest mole tunnels. And sure enough, the thing was moving a couple feet from where I was standing. And now I'm on my way back to my car to get my shovel, my tripod, and hopefully I'll catch it. It's going to be difficult to catch it because its mole tunnel isn't really defined. I can't tell if he's going forward or backward or what angle the mole is actually at. And to know that helps me because I know where to put the shovel. I like to put the shovel right behind his butt, but I don't know where mole is actually going to be located so he could easily get away when they go for him. Anyway.
not the blighter. He's got a little orange muzzle right there. Let's check him out. Looks like he's nice and alive. I didn't hurt him. Look at you. Look at you. This is really unbelievable, actually. Anyway, it's kind of unbelievable because that I could come here and just pick a day and come here and um, walk around. And I haven't been here in many months and just spot a mole moving, you know, in a matter of, it's been a half hour. And it's very tall grass. I could barely see the surface tunnels, but I could sure feel them underneath my feet. And this guy was just, just so happened to see him. So that's pretty unbelievable to me. And um, so I'm gonna take this uh, mole here and go relocate him away from uh, this area here where he's tearing up their nice lawn and go stick him somewhere away from people and homes. All right, cool. Oh man, I need to go get a bucket now. Hey, what's up? Got the molar here. Here you go, sit. On my way to relocate the blighter. And um, I did stop at my mom's house, but she's sick and she's in bed. And she said, you better not dare have a mole. So I did not try to scare her. I guess I have my own limits. Anyway. So, uh, well, here's an interesting song. I want to know, is there anyone out there who's ever heard of this band? Can you tell me who sings this song right here? Ready? Take a listen. Relocating the mole. I got the blighter right here. And it, it surprises me this particular mole is pretty docile. Um, he's not very aggressive and um, he doesn't move around a lot, but um, which is good. But anyway, <clears throat> let's release this guy here. Come on, buddy. 